Oh my god, Betsy. What? It's 2016. I know. We made it. We made it. We made it. Can't believe it. Right? Betsy's here, of course, it's Monday. Tori's also joining us. Because I missed her. Aww. Is your mic even on? I, th- I think so. Yes, everything it's me. Everything works. I'm here. Very excited. Oh, I'm, I'm just exhausted. I can't. I just, you know, it's just every year, just just a new year. Yeah. <laughs> as it as it usually is. You know, <laughs> no no years are just crazy to me because it's like. It feels like it goes by really quick. I get really depressed after Christmas ends, and then I realize it's like, oh yay, we got a whole nother year to do shit. Like I'm, I'm really, was really pumped about this whole week. I'm like, oh, excited. And then last night, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, oh fuck, I wish I had a time machine just to go back to like the first day of break and get everything I was planning on getting done done. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Like I have so much. Like my life is so disorganized. I feel you. So is mine. How was your break, Tori? I didn't really get a break. I mean, I... We get a lot to talk about today, but I want to know about you. Um, get on the mic. I don't want to miss a word of that. I got... That's not really that interesting. I got um, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off school, and then I had to go the day before New off Year's school. Eve. Off school? Aren't you supposed to get that off? New Year's Eve. I had to go to school New Year's Eve, and then I got New Year's Day off. No, because I... Well, I go to cosmetology school. So it's not like real school? Yeah, it's not like <laughs> real school. We don't get breaks because we have to get so many hours in. Is it run by Jewish people like me? No, I don't think so. I was nice. I gave everyone two weeks off. I didn't tell them they had two weeks off, though. <laughs> like, I'm that disorganized. I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe we'll do shows. And then everyone's texting me like, hey, we're doing a show today? <laughs> like, no. Oh, good fucking Lord, that goddamn baby. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm not even going to let Betsy end the show anymore. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a baby-free 2015. 16. But does she have a baby? She has grandkids. Like, they're not oh, even hers. Oh, okay. Like, she just gets, like, she, she turns into a daycare <laughs> around, no, around 9 a.m. <sighs> Sounds good. I would kill my kids. If, like, if I, I'd, I won't have kids, but if I did have kids, and when they had kids, they threw their kids on me, I'd be like, fuck you, take care of your own kid. Like, some people shouldn't even be having babies, though. Like, if you want to be a, you know, it's fine to, like, not want to have kids when you're not a, you know, a mom. Yeah, well, if you have, like, the calling, I guess, to be a mother, good for you, but I don't. <laughs> I don't like kids. I like them if they're not mine and if they're not crying. I don't even like them if they are mine. I like this new mic stand. I can just lean back and relax and get, get into my mode. Did you get that for Christmas? I bought it for myself. For, for actually, Christmas. the patrons got it for me for Christmas. <laughs> but uh, no, I have a cousin. I, I had to deal with that all over the holidays. Well, I have. We're not talking about you, Betsy. I'm talking about my. I'm talking about my cousin. I have a kid. five-year-old brother who's almost like my kid, and I can't. I just. I can't do it sometimes. I'm like, I don't understand how people. He seems do like a, I. I think I've seen pictures. He seems old, older though. He doesn't seem like that young. He's five. He's big for five. He was ten pounds when he was born, but. Fat wow. fucking kid. It's right though. He's just really tall, but he has like some like developmental delays and stuff, which just makes He's him, like me. He. It's. It makes it really difficult to deal with him sometimes, and it's like not his fault. It's but like I'm me. Just like, oh my god! <laughs> I'm not trying to make light of the situation. <laughs> I'm just trying to prove my own personal <laughs> self-image. No, I have a cousin. She's a uh, god. She's a total disaster, Susie. <laughs> and uh, hi, Susie. <laughs> and uh, she brought her kid over to. Uh, I think she's a kid's like one or two years old, and she finally came for uh, for Christmas. So everyone was everyone was at Christmas this year. And a motherfucking baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You better stop it. So duck Are you talking to beef or the baby? I'm talking <laughs> I'm talking I'm talking to beef. <laughs> I'm going back into uh, like war flashbacks. My cousin has this kid. Kid must be two now. 
And uh, so, but some people, some parents just are they think they want to have kids, and then they they spend their entire life just ignoring their kids. Yeah, like that's how I know I, that's how I'm having mommy issues. But I see this is uh, I see this everywhere. Like my cousin, she's she's uh, her kid was like crawling around the upstairs, and there's like chairs everywhere. And it's like a ferret. Kids are like ferrets. Like mm-hmm. hor- horrible, horrible parent. P- kids of horrible parents are like ferrets because they're under the kids underneath the table. And no one's paying attention to this baby. Me and my cousin are about the same age, and we're just we're just claiming ignorance. Like we see the baby is like underneath the chair, and I'm like, I don't, I'm not even gonna pretend the baby's there because the baby hurts itself. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a whore. I'll be a horrible babysitter. <laughs> but it's not my fault. It's not my kid. And everyone says, Oh, B, you should you shouldn't let the kid hurt himself. It's not my kid. I didn't fuck someone, and that's have how a I baby. feel about it too. Like if you made that decision, you're responsible for it now. God, she's a hor- She's just a hor- going to be a horrible parent. I'm sorry. Maybe it will change her. Maybe it should be a little bit uh, I don't know, more responsible now. But I love that kid- people have babies just to change themselves. It's like, oh, maybe I'm going to learn so much from this baby. I- meanwhile, they're a shit No, shit adopt person. a freaking puppy if you're going to do that. If you want to learn how to take care of something. Like, uh, you're going to bring a human into this world and then give it a crappy life. <laughs> Everyone thinks I hate, I hate cute kids too because they're all like, "Oh, kid's so cute." We have to interact <laughs> with it. I love ugly babies. Meanwhile, when I got to Christmas, I immediately ran upstairs just to avoid everyone. Cause I, I, my, my, my like my family, family is fine. She have what? She have a baby in the in the picture? Oh, she is. She's just, she, Betsy's just being our in studio audience today. But they get hey, these kids. You have to take me as I am. Take you as head. you were. I'll accept oh you God. for She's everything a, you were little worth. Little freaking cutie, though. Thank you. Pudgy cheeks. <laughs> Betsy, Betsy just comes <laughs> on the show to get compliments for her kids. <laughs> Not even her kids. <laughs> her kids, kids. No, so I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, I run upstairs. At my family party, my my mom's mom, my, my mom's family. I'm fine with. See, I'm the opposite way. My mom's family is. They're all like. I'm one of the youngest. But just keep yourself muted until you have to talk. Because if I have to hear that goddamn kid, I'm going to go psycho. This is this is twenty. This is baby feet 2016. <laughs> love, I'm the youngest. I, I love Betsy. <laughs> but uh, I don't like anything that comes out of her vagina. It's not me and Herbie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even looking at her. <laughs> Look at her reaction. <laughs> she laughing? Yeah. Oh, good. Thank God. <laughs> I, can't see, I can't see Betsy anymore except this really far away monitor. So it's working out. <laughs> Um, I'm the youngest on my mom's side. What are you t- I'm, wait, wait, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still ranting. Hold okay, on. Okay, I'll let you rant. <laughs> Go ahead. Let me tire myself. I'll listen. Out. You should know by now. Let me tire myself out real quick. Yeah, and then you'll be like, "All right, Tori." <laughs> like it, <laughs> you're turn. like a toddler. Like, let me get all my energy out, and then you can talk. <laughs> then, then the grown-ups can talk. So I run upstairs. I'm, uh, I immediately pop open the bottle of wine. I bring my own wine. I bring my own uh, corkscrew. I bring my own <laughs> little. I bring my own little Bluetooth speaker. I'm so prepared. I run upstairs pop open the wine i just sit there too and of course the the mom of the grandma of that kid comes up running upstairs and she's she's hor- she's psycho too the entire family is kind of fucked up like there's there's the mom nancy and then there's Susie, and then there's frank and frank's kind of the only normal one how is frank related they're cousins okay so it's two two kids and, the, and then the mom but the mom immediately runs upstairs and then uh Susie's the mom of the, the awful awful child but the mom immediately runs up to She's like, why did you come up here and not say hi to anyone? I'm like, because there's a fucking kid down there. And there's everyone else that I hate up down there. It's like all the aunts and uncles. So I'm just like pointing everyone. I mean, I'm being, I'm being a total dick. But no one even knew I was there, so it was all right. I, I fucking... It's kind of, the house is kind of built where you can just immediately run upstairs. Mm-hmm. Like the staircase is right there. Yeah, it's almost kind of like how the the studio is here, mm-hmm. but it's even closer. Like you wouldn't even you could just run upstairs. It's perfect. So that's what I did, and that fucking kid comes up there <laughs> about an hour later. I just don't understand. Like parents are awful. Like they get this kid, and they're so they all they do is talk about it. It's, oh, you know, I don't even know what the, co- the kid's name is, Connie or something. You know, little Connie's so tired. Meanwhile, the kid, little fucker is like gnawing out my shoes. <laughs> Afraid to, ki- I'm afraid I'm gonna kick it under the table. Now I realize I'm not having kids. Exactly, MC. Kids are fucking awful. I paid attention to the chat room for once. Hi, MC. Welcome back, guys. 
So you're the youngest in your family, or what were you saying? I'm the youngest on my mom's side, which makes my life difficult because all my cousins are like grown and have kids. But you're you're, you're like you're mature though. Yeah, but I hate I don't like dealing with their kids, even though like so they have kids. They yeah they have kids like. How old are they? One. uh, No no no. How old are they? uh, The parents of these kids. Like. 24 what, 20 anything you shouldn't be 20, having kids yeah well they were sorry betsy <laughs> they didn't like have them um, on purpose i guess that's the way to say it um and then i'm all, one of the oldest on my i would i would side. hate to have this be an excuse but like since everyone else does it like i hate that i'm like afraid to use excuses that everyone in, and everyone in america uses but there's a fucking it's called adoption right but like everyone <laughs> not everyone wants to go that route and well, I, I understand, understand that. that but like whatever um, <coughs> but like we're all really far apart in I'm not age. saying you should get rid of your kid I'm just saying on my mom's side so like when we hang out with them it's like weird because it's just, it's just basically my siblings yeah. and I hanging out like we do every other freaking day because of then, the age gap mm-hmm, but on my dad's side me and my cousins are all really close in age so we're like brothers and sisters almost so when I go over there I'm like yeah holidays are awesome and then i go to my mom's side and i'm like oh my god this is the worst thing that's ever. how it is now like it was, di- <laughs> it was different before because my cousins were all the same you know same age on my on my father's side my mom's side is when i come over comes over here and i'm really close to them and it kind of switched like i was always kind of thinking like hey maybe i'll you know maybe i won't t- i'll talk to my mom but i won't talk to her side of the family and i wouldn't talk to my dad but i would talk to his side of the family kind of thing Cause my father's a piece of shit. If you guys didn't, if you guys, this is the first time. If this is your first time watching the show, I'm just letting you know. But it's kind of switched. Like I really like my mom's side of the family. Like they're all young kids. Like they're like 16, 17, and they've like they, I see a lot of hope in them. Like I kind of tried to mold them into not being a shitty, shitty kid. I give them a lot of life lessons on being hip, cool hipsters. I give my my. Cousin. I don't have an office camera to look at. Like what? What are you talking about? I was reacting to what you just said, like, but I didn't have a camera to look at, so I just I'm, I'm, looked I'm, off I'm, I'm looking distance. at you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tori. <laughs> no, you know, like how on the office when someone says something ridiculous and you're like, they just did a turn, yeah. That's what I was turn doing. Turn the camera. Yeah. All right, not for you, Tori. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but uh, time like, to go home. <laughs> so my yeah, my cousins are all growing up. You know, they're sixteen, seventeen. They're all they're all hopeful kids. They you know they I, they haven't <laughs> fucked up yet. But my uh, my cousins are all kind of like douchey, and they're like fun to be around. But I just realize I'm like oh, because here we have the family, my mom's side here, and so I have to stay up real late. That's why I love going to other people's houses. As nice as early. as nice as it is to just be able to like put in your pajamas and pass out. It's so nice to be able to be like, hey, I'm going to call up my Uber real quick and get the fuck out of mm-hmm. here. That's basically what I did. Actually, my sister drove was kind of nice. For once we actually had a uh, reasonable uh, wanting times that we wanted to leave the party. She usually wants to stay. Usually I want to stay, but now I'm like, oh, I just want to get out of here. Can I stay for like two hours and just leave? That was kind of my plan. But uh, yeah, I just I skated out of there like a cool kid. Oh. I had a cool, I had a, I had a non-confrontational, very passive-aggressive holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. It was real nice. How was your holiday, Betsy? Betsy still got Christmas stores. It was good. Like. Betsy looks miserable. Why are you so miserable? Is it because of the kids? No, because it's Monday. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. No, just life. How was your holiday? What'd you, what'd you do? Uh, actually, I stayed home like a freaking, I mean, I had a whole week off without kids or anything, and I just stayed home and did nothing. Clean, that's about it. Not bad. I always like listening to kids. For, turn your mic back on. I want to hear <laughs> it. It's just funny. I like hearing, like, to stay, like, say, in, like, kids just say, like, songs. <laughs> She's singing Barney, actually. Is she? Yeah. Do it again. I want to hear it. So, yeah. <laughs> Get her to sing Barney real quick. So Leah. No, she won't do it. Sing, I love you. Oh, God. You love me. God. She's singing that? That's what she was singing. Oh, good Lord. All right, I got a couple things I want to play for you. We're actually really prepared. I called a, uh, I can give, I'll give you guys a choice. 
We can either listen to me call a troll's parent, or we can listen to some. We got new. We got a new batch of interns, and the first thing we found that we had them do is find the scariest porn on the internet. Yeah, that one. You want to see? What do you want? What do you want, Betsy? Porn or me calling? Too. All right. So this is a, this is a it's horrible audio, but it's a. Uh, we can stop this at any point. This is a this is a clown porn that I found. You see, it's, Lean over here and see if you can see the monitor. So there's a. It starts off with a girl in a bubble. I promise it's gonna get it. I haven't watched this yet. So it has a scary dungeon audio first. First of all, we had two. We had, we had two versions of it. One one of them we kind of boosted the audio. Let's see. This is the non-boosted audio. So the Oh, he's he's mum he's mummering the uh, the website audio as a scary clown. All right. I don't have to be able to get through this. So there's a girl in a like a weird ha plastic half bubble. I promise it picks up. I watched about two minutes. Oh. I know I keep replaying the first three seconds because I'm trying to figure out what the clown's doing. Can't tell if that's if that's Betsy's audio. Betsy, turn off your mic. I can't tell if that's your the scary clown porn. Mine is off. I'll put the I'll I'll try oh I'll try to post a link of this because it's really the, the video is really good. I, I can't show it on Meerkat or whatever because I'm pretty sure her nipples are exposed. So there's a girl in a bubble. Describe it for the audience because I can't do it. Me? Yeah. Okay. There's a girl in a plastic bubble, but it's only like half a bubble because it's on the ground. <laughs> and then it looks like there's a hole in the bubble where there's no her, hole, there's no hole in the bubble. By oh, the way. I thought he was putting his. His winky in the, the bubble. No, no, no! He can't get to her. Oh, okay. So he's trying to get to her. Then that's what it looks like. He's laying on top of the bubble in the scary clown way that he has. He's pretending to sex her through the bubble. I just want to remind the audience: this is porn we're listening to. <laughs> I promise. It. So I, I found that we have a new segment. It's called Creepy Mondays. Betsy, does Betsy leave? Betsy couldn't handle a porn. So this is Creepy Mondays. I'm here. I don't know. I can't see you for some reason. I'll try to get. You. I'll try to find you somewhere. <laughs> what the hell? Are you a little girl? Oh my god. So he just whispered to her, "Are you a girl?" To the. No, he said, "Are you a little girl?" Let me pull up the the boosted audio. We got we got some awesome engineers here. The clown is crying at this point. Yeah. Still trying to get into the bubble, which I think you can just probably pick up off the ground. Are you, d are you still digging this? or? Yeah, I, s I want to see the end. Betsy, are you digging this? This clown porn? She can't see it, though, can she? No. <laughs> oh, my little bubble girl. <laughs> no, he's, he's in a he's in a chair now. She has nipple cutouts, by the way. Yeah, and she has crotches. Um. Uh, oh, she's out of the bubble. She's out of the bubble. You 
have to post this link somewhere so she's, I can show this to Hunter. She's out of the bubble now, and she's like starting to do like the stripper move where she like starts from the legs and moves up. Like it's kind of hot, except it's so fucking scary. I don't think it's scary. It's just disturbing. He's licking her butt. Look at this ass this boys and girls. Boys and girls. This is bubble girl. Because every girl likes a clown. <laughs> <laughs> no way. The letter needs to watch this. <laughs> every girl likes a clown. Oh Are you God. still digging this, Betsy? Yep. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get feedback from the audience. I wish you could see this. Slutto, you scared? Slutto is afraid of clowns, so. Dude, that's a. <laughs> I'm sorry, Slutto, but that's a really dumb fear. Mr. Phil's no, I was in your play with Bubba Girl. I made me in trouble. <laughs> okay, now he's licking her nipples. She has a nipple stuck through this, like, leather. And she's milking. He, he's milking her like a cow. Cows just love clowns. <laughs> What'd you say? Girls just love clowns. I Girls just love clowns. <coughs> Cows just love clowns. <laughs> she can't speak English. <laughs> I have a weird accent. I wish you could. All right, now it's just getting. Now it's just getting dirty. Yeah, that was just weird. <laughs> the clown has a boner through his weird fucking outfit now, and he's, <laughs> he she goes honk honk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't know if I can watch any more of this. You need to wait, post wait. this link. Don't worry. So I can show Hunter. Well, let me fast forward a little bit. Now she's stuck in the clown cop. <laughs> And the music! And the music, and he still has the rest of his costume on. His dick is just poking out of his onesie. <laughs> We're not adding that music, by the way. That's... Uh, <laughs> that's just... It's playing the Jaws theme for the, the, the cock-sucking <laughs> Still wearing the onesie. With with Alright, fast-forwarding to the fucking... Still right. wearing the onesie. Now, isn't it? I can't watch it. I have to make the. I have to actually. I actually have to turn off the video portion because I can't actually watch it. Okay, like if you didn't know what this was, what would you think it was? Yeah, let me just play a random part. What do you think they're doing? I can't. None of us can see what they're doing. What do you think they're doing? We'll listen. <laughs> it's anal. It's anal. That was anal, by the way. <laughs> clown suit. Oh, oh no. she's, she always she just got a clown a pie in her butt. All right, that's disgusting. Oh. Clown outfit. Oh god, good lord, I can't get this off my computer. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? It's anal. That was anal, by the way. Maybe. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to let you go. My granddaughter's not cooperating today. All right, it's okay. She doesn't want to listen to porn. <laughs> I think she can't hear it. Well, thank you, Betsy. Betsy is, of course, right. every, every right, single sorry, Monday. Bye. Bye. We spent 25 minutes on that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, wow. Very good. Hold on. Let me just listen to another minute of it. Now it's just getting actual porn. It's actual porn now. Yeah. Oh, wet Willie? Is that what you call it? <laughs> wet Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I apologize. Uh, 
uh, thank you to all the 2016 interns for find, finding that. There's a lot of good clown porn out there, surprisingly. No, I was talking to about uh, I was talking about the f- some of the first porn I watched and it was clown porn. It wasn't lo- like you know looking out clown porn. God, I'm exhausted. What a f- good first day back. Hmm. There's gotta be worse porn out there though. I was uh I was I was being real nice over the holidays. I called uh, I called all the co-hosts. I even I called even Hunter. Gave him a little Did he answer? No, of course not. Yeah, I didn't think so. But uh, so I called all the co-hosts. It was really nice. I talked to him. I it's, I I wanted to do something I would have ne- normally never have done, mm-hmm. which would be interact with another human <laughs> on the telephone. But and they you know I called Betsy and Sledo and I called a bunch of people actually. But it was really nice. And then I called Bobby and oh my god, Bobby's this mess. So I have to describe Bobby. Bobby's just like this dad. He's about sixty. I actually don't know how old he is. Maybe like 50, 48. I don't know. Is it he on the... He's on Friday. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I called him. It was real nice. We had like a 10-minute conversation. And uh, hi, Rusty. Rest of the cat's coming in. You can come over here. You can... Hold on. Let me play the clown real quick. Oh, he just wants love. Do you like clowns? Don't be afraid. Don't, don't be afraid. It's it's uh, Tori to the cat. I won't hurt you. I just want to fuck you. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I like that. I won't hurt you. I'm just gonna fuck you. I'm gonna <laughs> have to remember to save that. I'll use that Don't next time. I, I won't bed. hurt you. I just want to fuck you. <laughs> but uh, so I, I called Bobby. <laughs> he just I, I wish I would have recorded it. For, I swear I'm, I'm recording every single call from now on. But I call Bobby, and he just starts coughing. I swear to God, it was like a fucking uh, <laughs> prank call. He started coughing. <coughs> I, I, do I have a cough on here? I don't. He's like burping. It's like, it's, it's like it, I don't even know what time it is for him. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. He's like, oh, I'm fucking sick. I'm sick as a dog. <coughs> and I swear to God, I had to hang up the phone because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> it was such a nice call, and he just ruined it. Do you ever pet him? I do pet him, to be clear. He's acting like he's never been touched. He has Alzheimer's, so he forgets everything. <laughs> how do you know if a the cat has... listeners... How do you uh, know if your cat has Alzheimer's? Tori is dis- uh, di- dissecting my relationship with my cat. Also, yeah, how do you know that? How did they find that out? Uh, watch. Rusty! Rusty! That. <laughs> so he, he's deaf? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean he has Alzheimer's. Oh, no, I said he was deaf, and I don't know what I said. He's definitely he has Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's because of uh, other things. <clears throat> Rusty, do you have Alzheimer's? One, uh, meow once for yes, two for no. Or what is it? One for yes, <coughs> two for no. Are you deaf? <coughs> See? <laughs> that was rusty but by if, the way but if you're deaf how could you just answer my question <laughs> 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 all right uh tori is tori langlands t-r-i-l-a-n-g-l-a-n-d-s that's t-o-r-i-l-a-n-d-l-a-n-l-a-n-g-l-a-n-d-s yes. exactly the second one langlands langlands i'm of course bad beef bad beef everywhere and uh, go over to patreon.com, patre1.com slash badbeef to help support the show. We're going to release a uh, an hour-long documentary. We had a documentary crew. It's, I swear to God, this isn't bullshit. Uh, documentary crew, follow me. Mostly it's uh, like selfie, but uh, and do a document an hour-long documentary on my Thanksgiving break, and it's just going up on Patreon this week. Oh, my God. Holy shit, is it good. It's all fancy quality, too. We got all the big gear. No iPhone shooting that. That's all thanks to our patrons. Also, thank you to McClove Studio. We got it. We got actually some good. Uh, we got a good story about my mom almost killing my aunt. I recorded at the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> it was very good. We got a couple of. Oh, we did a bunch of blabs over the holiday. We're releasing the blabs on Patreon exclusively. Thank you to our patrons. 
tomorrow we'll be talking. We're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. Tomorrow I'll play the. Uh, I'll play the proof, the evidence that uh, every single troll is just a twelve-year-old girl who stole his, stole her dad's phone. <coughs> Can I call the trolls a troll's parent? I'll, I'll give you a little teaser. I'm real professional. Hi, is this? Yes. Hi, did you just send a tweet? <laughs> a few, uh, but uh, let me check. <laughs> That's all. I'll play. It's very good. He yells at his daughter during the call. Did you just send a tweet? Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is good. I was real drunk. What else were we talking about? I'll get, I'll get more into, uh, I'll get into my New Year's. I'll get into more Christmas. What did you stuff. do for New Year's? Um, not too much. I was home early. I, I fell asleep before the ball dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I did. It was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> fell asleep. I went Are to bed. you sixty? Like no, 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 I didn't fall asleep. I purposely <laughs> made myself go to bed at eleven fifteen. Why? <laughs> because I didn't give a fuck. I did I mean, my. Yeah, I, I mean, after like however old you are, how many years of watching the stupid ball drop, it gets boring. It gets boring. I, yeah. I figured when I, mean, I was like one or two years old, I didn't stay up and I didn't die. You know what I mean? I, mm-hmm. I didn't miss anything. No, I, I it was really depressing. I did a, my own little countdown in my head. When you were asleep? No, like, as I was going to bed, I'm like, I'm just counting down to the next, because I'll wake up and it'll be 2016. And I woke up at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. I could have partied all night. I didn't, though. No, it was real nice. Get to bed early. What else did I do? Did something. Who knows? I'll remember one some other day. (laughs) Um, That's it, guys. Um, Tori, any uh, final thoughts? Final thoughts. How was your New Year's? What did you do? Um, I just hung out with Hunter at a friend's Ooh. house. Did you guys, uh, you know? No. Did you guys kiss on midnight? Yeah. Good. They were gay like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Awesome. Thank you, Tori, for coming in. This was awesome. You're welcome. We're going to be seeing a lot more Tori in 2016. It's going to be very exciting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, fuck. I want to be a musical guest on your show. But I, I do. don't think you really have that. I do have that. Okay. <laughs> I'll have that. What would we do? What would we, we sing a number? Yeah, you want to sing with me? We got a Castile piano we, you could use. Let me show it to you. Let's see if you can if you can rock it. You put about 8D batteries in it. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, that's it. Monday through Friday. Uh, actually, we're doing something weird. But, well, this week is going to be a short week, but uh, I think we're going to do some, a lot more crazy stuff for 2016. Meerkat, Periscope, Mixler, Ustream. That's it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, I'm glad I'm Glad the first show is in the can. Of course, I don't know how to end shows as, as per usual. And uh, that's it. Bye. Bye.